What's up folks, Mike for CMCC Builds here with another 5 minute build where we make a build in, yep, 5 minutes or less. Today's build is the Gun Monk, affectionately known as the Gunk. In these videos we will discuss progression and some key choices and features. Here we will answer the how and how to build a Gun Monk, while the more detailed longer build videos will answer the why. These shorter build videos will allow viewers to be able to quickly see a build without having to carve out those 20 to 30 minutes to do so. Friendly reminder that if you like what I do here, do some of that YouTube stuff to help support the channel. Okay, that's enough of that, let's jump into it. For race, custom lineage is the optimal choice. Take dark vision with the variable trait, as it's more valuable than a skill right now. For the feet, take gunner, which gives a plus one to dexterity, proficiency in firearms, something you'll definitely need for this build. You get to ignore the loading property of those firearms, key if you want to ever use multi-attack or bonus action attacks. And finally, being within five feet of a hostile creature doesn't impose disadvantage on ranged attack rolls with any ranged weapon. Every single bullet of this feat is useful for this build. Ability scores, eight strength, 15 dex, 14 Constitution, 10 Intelligence, 15 Wisdom, and 8 Charisma. That 10 can go in Strength or Charisma if you prefer, the plus 2 from the Racial ASI and plus 1 from the Gunner feat, bring your Dexterity to an 18 right off the bat, which is perfect for a range build. For starting class, nothing tricky here, take Monk. For starting proficiency, Stealth will be a key skill for this build, so it's a must grab here. Acrobatics is another dex based skill that will help you avoid grapples, so it's a good selection. Feel free to take something else here if your campaign demands that change. Unarmored Defense puts your AC at 16 right at level 1, which isn't amazing, but perfectly acceptable for a ranged character with proficiency in stealth skill to aid hiding and will have a ton of movement to kite when needed. You also get the martial arts feature, which I won't get into in this video. At level 2, Monk 2, you get Key, Unarmored Movement, and Dedicated Weapon, which allows you to start using that musket you have proficiency in due to the gunner feat. It does count as a monk weapon, so if you wanted to get wild, you could shoot off your musket and run into melee to use a bonus action to attack an enemy with an unarmed strike. I would do this only if you believe it very likely you'll kill that enemy. Otherwise, with no bonus action to use Step of the Wind, you'll be stuck in melee. Melee is bad for ranged characters. At level 3, you get Key Fueled Attack, which is a cornerstone of this build. If you spend a key point during your action, you can make one attack with a monk weapon as a bonus action. That allows you to attack with 1d12 plus 4 damage rather than 1d4 plus 4. Quite a bit of difference, and that will be a huge difference very soon. For the monastic tradition, take Way of Shadow. That gives the Shadow Arts and the ability to spend 2 key points to cast Darkness, Dark Vision, Pass Without a Trace, or Silence, while also getting the Minor Illusion Cantrip. Pass Without a Trace is on that list. Getting surprise for all or most of your party is now a very real possibility. This spell is fantastic and arguably one of the best spells in the game. Not second level spell, just spells. Arguably. Note that spells like Darkness cost key points and take an action to cast, which means you get a bonus action attack with your musket. 4. You get a feat and take Sharpshooter. Those musket attacks can now hit for 1d12 plus 14 damage. The negative 5 penalty hurts without the archery fighting style, so we'll need to fix that. 5 gives extra attack, which you can use with a musket because of gunner, and focused aim, the other cornerstone feature of this build. Now with sharpshooter, you can take the negative 5 penalty. When you miss, you can spend 1 to 3 key points to increase the attack roll by 2 for each key. And because you spent a key point during your action, you trigger a key fueled attack and can take a third musket attack with your bonus action, also with sharpshooter. You also get stunning strike, but we'll rarely ever use it on this build. Now it's time to multi-class out a monk and into fighter for 3 levels. Level 1 gives a fighting style, and archery is the must-have pick. A plus 2 to attack rolls does a great job offsetting the negative 5 penalty from sharpshooter. Action surge at 2 is also great for nova rounds, or rounds where you need to cast a spell like darkness or silence to deal with spellcasters as an example. At fighter 3, level 8, take battlemaster as your martial archetype. Precision attack is the big one. Missing those musket shots just got a lot harder. You now have the plus 2 from archery, plus 2 to plus 6 from focused aim, and a plus 1d8 or 4.5 on average from Precision attack. Menacing attack and pushing attack are good options for the other two maneuvers, but pick whatever works. Here we move into Ranger for three levels with the skill, take Perception, and take Expertise and Stealth to try and ensure surprise on enemies whenever possible. At two, you get a second fighting style, and many will recommend defense here, but blind fighting is more thematic and potentially even better when combined with Shadow's use of the Darkness spell. Cast the spell, move within 10 feet, and fire off a shot with a bonus action and advantage. At Ranger 3, level 11, take Gloomstalker as the Ranger archetype, which gives Dread Ambusher for another round 1 attack that doubles with Action Surge, each with an additional d8 damage. Initiative, like your armor class, also uses Wisdom now, and while in darkness, you're basically invisible. 
and even creatures with blind sight or tremor sense often only have it out to 60 feet and your dark vision now stretches 90 feet so stay between 60 and 90 feet and fire away spells absorb elements fog cloud and good berries at this point go back into monk all the way to 14. rogue assassin may seem tempting but monk 14 gives a lot of key points which are precious to this build and of course diamond soul which functions as an actually good monk capstone for this build lots of abilities between six and seven and at eight it's time to max dexterity finally at Monk 12, level 18, take Fey Touched Wisdom. Yes, Shadow Step already lets you teleport, but now Misty Step lets you teleport when you're not in shadows. Take Gift of Alacrity to make sure you always win advantage, or help the controller in your party move up the initiative order. And then at 20, that Diamond Soul Capstone to shore up all of your saving throws and even the ability to re-roll in the off chance you do fail one. There it is, the Gunk, the Gun Monk, sniping from the shadows, taking out enemies before they even have a chance to act. Thanks everyone, see you here next time.